this year we have a flower garden that's a little smorgasbord of things that people have given us and things that we just like that grow up in it like Queen's Aunt, Queen Anne's lace and iris from some special people in our lives and um, other things around and this time when it's weeded we're going to add some mulch to keep the weed down weeds down this is a mulch that has weed preventer in it it's supposed to prevent weeds for six months i don't know if that's true or not but even if it prevents weeds for three months i'd be very satisfied because we're going to have snow perhaps by then okay that looks good and dark and beautiful a lot of times we don't use mulch but at the discount uh damaged area of our store there was some mulch there believe it or not this was a dollar a bag because it had a tear in the corner which i just made bigger so i can actually put it on so <coughs> that's a great easy way after the weeding of course to really dress it up okay so you can see the transformation happening here and this is going to keep the weeds down for at least some while even if the marketing is exaggerated we'll take what we can get with keeping those weeds right. down the chickens are going to kick a lot of this around and i'm going to try not to be upset about it but this for today anyway and hopefully for a few weeks is going to really make this garden look fantastic this is my second bag and I think we're going to make it all the way around without breaking anything in the process. And this is my favorite windmill ever. This was given to me by a dear friend and it's just a little piece of art in the garden. So I call this my friendship flower garden. Okay, so we're just getting things cleaned up, but you can see what a big difference it makes with a little bit of mulch in there. After all the weeding, it really shows off your hard work.